today in our first look in operating system it's the first Filipino Linux OS it is called Commander Linux so Commander Linux is available just this November 1st or yeah this November 1st Let, let's take a look into this website first so I was opening up this uh, website it's called the Fast News and there is a article way back in few days ago and this is what I saw 11 new distro to I look forward to into 2023 so I was surprised actually saying goodbye to 2022 and then there will be some new Linux OS in the horizon of 2023 so we have first right here vanilla zero Linux crystal Linux the fourth is Toxido OS Euro Linux at fifth six is Zinc Cache on seventh Resource on eight nine is Exodia and ten is Commander Linux and the bottom is actually Ubuntu Unity so I was surprised right here because when I saw this one let's zoom in a little bit I saw this one it is a flag of the Philippines and of course it is letter K and it is commander and yes I was intrigued at first glance I thought a while it's just only Windows 7 but taking a look at this it's actually commander Linux and this is based on 11th Debian edition and in our utilized and customized version of the XFCE or the XFACE. This name stands for, of course, Commander in English, paid for the uh, developer's first computer, which is Commando, uh, Commander uh, VIC 20. And if you like Windows 7 experience but wanted the same thing on Linux, then this is your getaway this is your tape so currently it is the first and early release candidate for this uh, Linux OS but you can expect this in a stable in year 2023 that's gonna be in a few months time hopefully that is said the uh, on their uh, comments right here on commander Linux and 10th place on FOSS so I just go to the website Commander Linux. That's K U M A N D E R dot org. So as you can see, welcome page is actually beautiful. Uh, it is not congested with a lot of information, but it's just right, and it's aimed to bring back the colors, the icons, and beautiful background to your PC and laptop, of course. Uh, if you are still with Windows 7 you have hard time probably having a hard time on booting and maybe loading because it is a little bit like luggage already and bring back the experience the easy to use for people comes from the OS Windows Provide the best and free open source application. Helps you to get your work done and set you free as in freedom. So Commander Linux is based on Debian 11 using the Xphase DE or the desktop environment. So I was just like scrolling down right here and suddenly it was just like yeah this is definitely a Filipino uh, distro. So this screenshot yeah and of course I already like uh, install it in my uh, virtual box right now a virtual machine so these are the few pictures that are screenshots of this particular OS that's Commander Linux and yes it is running with LibreOffice under the hood but same time you can also install any application that you want 
but of course it is not available some of their Linux applications are not available yet in the store so these are the screenshot let's navigate this one yeah cool so let's try to see and this is the download page so they have this uh, countdown of the download so as of now the ISO file downloaded by 704 already so you can download this the commander Linux 1.0 CC release candidate number one 2.4 gigabytes user of a Windows OS normally use Rufus to burn the ISO to the USB stick but I use the Belair Etcher in actually in in Windows or Linux I use most of this time and of course just uh, put it on the USB burn it so anyway uh, let's uh, take a look into this about so dear uh, visitors welcome to commander.org the home of commander Linux the first thing first commander Linux hails from the Philippines the name commander simplifies or simply means commander in the in English as for himself the lead developer of this distro uh, he's not actually original from the Philippines but he married uh, a Filipina and uh, live there uh, permanently of course the philosophy behind the commander Linux uh, bring back colors icon beautiful background and software with real soul low system requirements that is true because most of the windows are actually recommending a minimum of four but it will be sluggish and recommended uh, RAM or the random access memory is about like let me see uh, 8 gig and up and of course this commander Linux is focused on the user friendliness and openness and simplicity you the user are totally cool and control so yeah there you have it there's their uh, picture of the the developer you can donate using by your uh, by patreon or paypal to help the developing uh, this commander linux os as it grows please consider donating okay it helps the community at the same time it helps at the same time to make it free to use to everybody as in freedom to use so they have this forum uh, at the same time please be careful with the words that you say because this is a free and open source we are not actually paid for for uh, for anything else we're just like a community helping each other so I leave some interesting comments right here uh, installation and open machines installation live mode and placeholder something like that so getting started and of course uh, they have a lot of information right here uh, giving out information and helping each other there you have it that's me <laughs> wow that's very cool maraming salamat for the exposure po and thank you for the kind words regards Roy yep uh, this this is the uh, developer salamat po at the same time to uh, Kat Roy uh, yeah I'm also a Filipino who is working right here abroad in Thailand right now and of course uh, I'm using Linux as my daily driver and I'm happy to do actually uh, test run this uh, OS in a virtual box and at the same time in my old PC uh, which is the HP 15 which is around like a mo model of year 2011 to between 2015 or make it 2013 something ish so yeah that's my model of my HP uh, let me show this uh, to the world that's why right now I'm recording it right now as it is now uh, December 30th 
there's a lot of uh, going on right here. So, yep. Any ideas? Yes, I also sent some additional ideas right here. I was just like uh, thinking about it, you know. But it's just only for uh, options. So, according to the survey, only Office and LibreOffice uh, users are pretty low, yeah, which is true, 10% of the users, compared to LibreOffice, which is majority of 60%, plus uh, some of the Windows all at the same time uh, users and the Apple OS reply this in a while. That's about it, so we're right here, actually, we're here in um, Commander OS. So let's try to see what's inside this desktop settings. Okay. Oh, okay. So the desktop settings is all about the background menu and the icons. So as you can see, I already did some tweakings right here, and I like this one. It's kind of like uh, reminding me of an old uh, capital city in the Philippines, which is in Manila. And I think this is in Manila, or is it in Makati? Hmm. How about this one? Is this? Oh, this is Manila Harbor. So probably this is also Manila. And let me see if what a jeepney from UP Campus and Katipunan. But I think I like this one. It's urban settings. So let me see. How about the menus? So include the application menu on the desktop. Right click, which is right now. Yeah, yeah. we have this. Show the application icons in menu. Yeah, we have this one and windows list menu show the windows list and so and so forth let's try to see the icons so the icons right here is now i'll just uh, put it on the launcher icon uh, settings and 48 let me see i'll just okay okay let's let's just go back to 48 and it is on the how about let's put it on the right can we arrange it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> How about bottom? Yeah, it's bottom. So let's go, just go back to this so that I could see it. Let me see. How about this uh, about me appearance? Let me see. How about the appearance? Ah, okay. This is dark mode. Yeah, and contrast, high contrast, commander. I'll go for the dark mode icons. I icons oxygen yeah okay so let's see on the display yes I already set this resolution to 1080 uh, let me see you can also have your games right here let's go for the accessories first so you have the uh, calculator the character maps of course the uh, terminal huh, okay uh, let's neo fetch this one yeah so as you can see it is Debian 11 bullseye I accidentally changed the icon <laughs> okay uh, let me see so yeah I could change uh, whatever I want because this is Linux actually so you can always change your 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 settings right here uh, in the accessories you can also find your file manager which is uh, uh, basically like a color Ubuntu I remember this one uh, way back then when the Ubuntu uh, 8 yes Ubuntu 8 uh, when I were using Ubuntu 8 way back in 2008 Okay, in the accessories you also have the simple text editor, the screenshot. Here in Linux, we have the native screenshot. We don't go to the through third party application just to put a screenshot application. In games we have few. We have Tetris, Sudoku, we have Mahjong, Solitaire, Chest, uh, Mines and puzzle slides and of course snake in graphics we have blender the 3d molding graphic editor uh, rendering post-production animation thing which is also avatar was famous actually uh, they use blender a document scanner you don't need a driver or a third-party application here in linux you just plug and play 
GIMP, our photo editor. We also have the viewer, the image viewer, the Inkscape to create uh, vectors. Uh, Krita, ah uh, yes. We also have the uh, LibreOffice Draw, which is basically the counterpart of the Microsoft Office uh, Publisher. The internet, we have uh, FileZilla, Firefox, and Thunderbird, and so on and so forth. The KDE connection, MSS, blah 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 thing. And of course, this is not actually uh, comes out of the box because I already set some set of of tests before I uh, record this one. Uh, we have the Adocious, uh, Audior, uh, Audacity, Caden Live, OBS Studio, uh, Perl uh, Media Player, VLC, of course, the very famous VLC Media Player comes from the, uh, the free and open source, which is Linux application. And of course, we came out of the box with simple screen recorder. And of course, the office, they have all these uh, out of the box uh, library office but of course I try to install only office at the same time uh, based on my experience and based on few months ago I have this uh, comparison between the library office and the only office library office is basically the full office suite compared to only office which is only office is a little bit like com commercialized and monotonous at the same time but uh, I think I like the monotonous uh, type of, of uh, office suit desktop environment because if I work I probably wanted to have a monotonous uh, desktop environment so that it will not distract me from doing something important and of course you have the pdf uh, viewer right here and system yeah if you want to gather information about your system yes this is uh i think in windows you have the cpu z but here in linux we use cpu x okay we also have this this usage analyzer to analyze how much do you have the capacity so I only have like left of 8 uh, gigabytes available it's just okay I was just like uh, installing stuff uh, uh, just playing with this in my virtual box you also have the let me see oh yeah the G parted yeah this is also if you want to extend I gave it like one gigabytes of uh, Linux uh, swap which is the virtual virtual memory uh, instead of the random access memory I also utilize the uh, space for the swap or the virtual memory actually uh, gparted you can also move your partition you don't need to have a you know uh, uh, application so it's really cool and you also have some uh, parental controls right here if you are uh, sharing this with your kids you have also software let me see what is installed with our software wait for the download to refresh everything yep so this is their category uh, installed let me see this is my install so there's a lot already audio and video so let us go to the communication and news so productivity let's go on with games hmm let me see what's inside with our games oh, of course mahjong let me see hangman 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 there it is the hangman can we install yeah let's install it's already installed let's open wow okay let me see let's start let's just play do we have letter a oh yeah we have letter j no i no how about oh oh no <laughs> how about e uh oh how about b uh oh how about d no r 
Oh, how about what word is this? If we have pear, no. We have T, no. S. Oh, what word is this? Do we have letter A? No, we don't have letter A. How about letter C? Oh, oh. Let's try to find what word is this. M. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, let's close this one. So let's try to check out this graphic and photography. Yeah, we have Krita, we have Gimp, we have Blender, and all those stuff. Oh yeah, Stellarium is also here. QGIS is also here. Uh, let me see. To comprise is also here. How about utilities? Let's see what's inside the utilities. Oh, you can also navigate right here in the application. Wow, okay. I didn't uh, saw that coming. <laughs> I was just uh, concentrating on the menu. That's our first look right here in our Commander OS. A Filipino distro. If you are looking for a Linux distro that you are familiar with like Windows 7 era, Commander Linux OS is your go-to with absolutely for free as freedom to use. I'm Blair saying bye for now and see you in the next episode.